Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records talking about the brand new sophomore release from guitar player Nita Strauss. Nita is most famous for being the lead guitar player for Alice Cooper since 2014. And uh, she left briefly to play with Demi Lovato. She's back in Alice Cooper's band because somebody had he needed help and somebody had quit. She uh, has her second release out. And this thing is very, very good. It's chock full of guests. Uh, it's over an hour long, um, which is a little bit long. I guess it would be my only criticism. Um, uh, this is uh, from Sumerian Records. It's called The Call of the Void. Okay, there's the cover there. Let's see. Call of the Void. It's got 14 songs. Nita is 36. She was born December 7th, my birthday of 1986. Uh, she's the first female guitarist to be to have her own signature guitar by Ibanez. Uh, uh, guitar Worlds rated her the number one uh, female guitar player in the world. She replaced Ornathi uh, in Alice Cooper's band in 14. Um... She says that this album came kicking and screaming into the world, meaning what she means by that is it, it wasn't real easy, an easy birth where some songs come quick and easy. These took some time to write. Let's go through it track by track and talk about this record and rank it. Uh, not that I have a right to rank, rank art, but that's what I do here on my reviews. Summer Storm is the first song. It starts off with a little rain Um and then it's just got some melodic lead playing. The the drummer, I, I did some research to find out who the drummer was. I don't know who this drummer is, but he's amazing. I'm wondering if it's the same guy that plays with Alice Cooper, because that guy's amazing. Double bass kicking, syn syncopated, galloping guitars. Just an epic opener on this record, uh, The Call of the Void. Amazing song. The next song features Elisa White uh, Glutz on, on vocals. Um... Reminds me, the riff reminds me of Painkiller. This song's called The Wolf You Feed. It reminds me of the riff from Painkiller. Not that she's taken from that riff, but it just reminds me of that gallop. Uh, Painkiller like riff, great guitar soul, guttural vocal style by Alyssa. Another strong track. Um, Digital Bullets featuring Chris. Motionless is next. A more conventional modern rock song. Um, you know, modern metal song. Uh, there's a really melodic guitar solo at the three minute and 15 second mark that I love. Next song is Lizzie Hale from Hailstorm singing lead vocals called Through the Noise. Just a straightforward rock song. Um, you know, it's kind of made for radio. Not a favorite of mine. A sublime solo, though, as per usual and as on this whole record. Not one of my favorite songs, though, in general. But then uh, Consume the Fires next. This pitch harmonics, kick-ass energy, bass and drums again. Ridiculous guitar work here. Sign uh, time signature changes. Really, really cool song. Um, the next one's an instrumental. Um, excuse me, that one was an instrumental. Uh, Dead Inside now is the next song. Number six features David Draymond. Uh, from Disturbed, you know, just great vocals by Draymond. You know, just sick, um, sick vocals. He's one of the best vocalists in, in hard rock and metal. Uh, the next song features vocals from Dorothy, uh, Victorious. Um, how do you follow Draymond? That's what I wrote down. How do you follow Draymond's vocals with any kind of vocalist here? I said, uh, this song's good enough at the two minute, ten minute mark it shifts to a harder edge the rhythm section on this whole record is absolutely insane bass player and drummer i wish i knew who they were and i probably should have done more research but i by the way this album came out today i've been listening to it all day um just i can't get it out of my head scorched is the next song not as good for me uh i mean it takes pressure off the scorching first half of this record. So in any way, what Scorch does is it relieves some of the pressure. Sometimes we need that in records, right? Where you're getting hit and hit and pounded and pounded. You need something to take you take you back and, and maybe not so 
high octane. But then Momentum comes in, which is the ninth song. Holy crap. Uh, just vicious double bass playing. Probably my favorite song on this record, track nine, Momentum. The next song is called The Golden Trail. So as, as Nita was growing up, Nita Strauss again, she said that her Beatles was a band called In Flames and their singer, especially um, Ander Frieden. The vocals here, a uh, mix of screaming and melodic vocals, strong again, sounds sounds like a hit single to me. Uh, again, Ander uh, uh, Frieden uh, from In Flames on vocals here, one of the heroes of Nita Strauss. Uh, Winner Takes All is the next song, number 11. It features Alice Cooper and frankly, you know, Victory Hates Company says uh, Solo kind of saves just an okay song. The, the Alice Cooper song that you expect to be kick butt is just okay for me. Uh, but uh, Kintsugi is next. Just a gorgeous instrumental, you know, uh, from a guitar goddess. You know, Nita is just, she's one of the great guitar players in the world. She really is. Uh, this thing is you know, you could listen to this over and over again and hear little bits and little nooks and crannies that are going to blow you away. Check out this record. Um, again, The Call of the Void. The album uh, finishes up with a song called Surfacing featuring the great Marty Friedman. Marty Friedman is, um, you know, was a lead guitar player in Megadeth during their biggest records. Um, you know, two of the best rock guitar players squaring off face to face syncopated chops crazy drum fills just just an amazing way to end if i have one complaint on this record is that maybe it's a little long i like 45 minute albums this is another half an hour plus it's just long and um i'm gonna give here's my rating system five is a classic perfect Four is great, three is good, two is not good, one is terrible. This is a four and a quarter. This is one of the best records of the year so far. Um, starting out the second half of the year, I'm due for a first half of 2023 uh, ranking so far for the year. Check out my channel, subscribe if you like my content. We do shows every day. I love this new album from Nita Strauss. Again, uh, The Call of the Void. See you later.